はいどうぞジョージ・ハリソンとエリック・クラプトンが共演するそれも日本でロンドン郊外のここブレイスタジオでは12月1日の日本公演に向けて連日激しいリハーサルが繰り広げられています稽古が始まるのは12時エリック・クラプトンはいつもきっかりに少し遅れてジョージがやってくるんですあれジョイさん、ひげを剃りましたね。日本公演のために剃ったんですかじゃあ、こちらでお話を聞かせてください。お二人ともおのおのことはよくご存知だと思いますが日本の文化で特に興味があるものは何かございますか I do. I, I was very, um, I was very interested in Japanese cinema from a very early age. I remember um, being a big fan of Toshiro Mifune and Kurosawa and Kobayashi when a long time ago. And uh, I always wanted to go to Japan. And you know, the, the tradition of the samurai, I think. Is, we have something like it's like the same thing as the English concept of chivalry, somehow. ジョージさんは25年ぶりの来日ですよね。Well, um, I, I can remember it well, but we didn't get to see very much because there was, I think, riots were happening in Tokyo at the time. And then it was also the mania, which came, used to come wherever we went. So, um, all I remember really is the drive from the airport to the hotel and then the drive from the hotel to the Budokan each day, and that was all we saw. The rest of the time we were stuck in our hotel room. So, um, I mean, I enjoyed doing the concerts, but、uh, this time I hope to see a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to do that. お二人が最初に知り合ったきっかけはどこでどういうふうだったんでしょうか Well, we were both in bands in the early 60s and at one point we were both on the same show and we met then, that was, must have been probably 1963、yeah. and we did a Christmas season in the Hammersmith Odeon together and Eric was in the Yardbirds Later, I think I met,、uh, I remember seeing Eric at the,、uh, the Loving Spoonful concert、yeah. at the Marquee.、Yeah. He was sitting up on the top of some road boxes like this lonely person. Eric, さん初めてビートルズと共演したのはいつですか I think it must have been 67 when they were doing the White Album. And George,、um, we. I got a house, I bought a sort of flat in King's Road. In, Actually, the White Album was 68. Was it? And George, they, they had started Apple, and then I used to see George quite a lot, just for fun, you know.、Yes. And、uh, he said that he would. I mean, it was almost very, it was very spontaneous. We were actually in his car. Yeah, you know, in drove car. into London in my car. And he said, Oh, do you want to come and play on this、yeah. record? I went, All right. He said, Well, no, there, nobody's ever played on a Beatle record. They won't like that. And I said, Yeah, it's nothing to do with them. It's my song. And so we, we came. Yeah. And we did、uh, On My Guitar Gently Weeps. It was a great moment. Patty was Eric's mother. 
あのー、大変恐縮なんですがお二人ともパティ・ボイドさんに曲を捧げていますよね あの日本公演ではレイラを一緒に歌いますか I don't know. I think George wants to do it on the ukulele, but I haven't really figured out how I would fit into that. It could be a solo. Well, you could wear a grass skirt. Or I could play spoon <laughs> and a grass skirt. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we've always just been <clears throat> kind of supportive to each other as friends. Yeah, I think it's just the knowledge. When you've got a kind of good friendship, that just the knowledge that it exists is enough to help you through sometimes. I think his style of guitar playing is totally unique. And actually, <laughs> I heard someone the other... I keep thinking I hear you on other people's records. Oh, well, I've played on a few other people. Have you, have you done it recently? No. There that was, was someone on the, on the radio the other day, and it had a slide guitar it, identical uh, no. to well, yours. Sometimes people try and make it sound. I don't know That's why. Right, yeah. But I did play on that girl... Um, ah. What's her name? The, with the red hair? Oh, that is you? Yeah. What's her name? Oh, God. Belinda Carlisle. Right. That I thought, okay. George is the only one who plays slide in a rock and roll vein, really. And it, it is unique. I think that's an important thing. Really. Necessity is the mother of invention. For years, I'd stopped. I hadn't played the guitar. I just played sitar. I was with Ravi Shankar. I was trying to learn this Indian instrument, the sitar. So I didn't really play the guitar for so long. By the time I decided I better get back on the guitar, there were so many great players, and I was stuck with this thing that I couldn't even get a decent sound out of. So then I thought, well, I'll try this slide. どんな練習をしたらエリックさんのようになれるんですか？ Oh no, it's just I love I, my what I owe my musical capabilities to is a simple love of playing, and, and not necessarily. Um, a private playing. I, I like the experience of being in a concert hall or, or in a club or wherever it is where there's an audience because I, I, I doubt my own judgment so much with what I do that I have to have someone there to give me feedback, tell me whether it's going right or not. So I've always chosen to go and play live. Honda Primo Ten. リハーサルも大詰めスタッフも準備に余念がありません2人にとって命ともいえるギター今回特別にお願いして見せてもらいましたいや、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これ
And I've got a real nice Les Paul that Eric actually gave me back in the 60s. And it weighs a ton, and I uh, toyed with playing that, but I thought for health reasons I'd pick the lightest guitar I could find. But having uh, said that, when I got to the rehearsal, I started playing this, which is not much lighter than the Les Paul, actually. I think there's something to do with the, you know, the heavier or denser the wood yeah, is, the better, better sound. the sound it's comes true. out of it. You get a light guitar and it can, the sound is kind of light as well. But it's a, it's a good looking guitar and I, um, I'm getting used to it. It's got huge frets, which I, I've never played one like that before. Well, yeah, could I have my guitar, Lee? The verb. Which black? That one. This is your. Yeah, this is uh, it's almost a, a, a complete copy of the one I've been playing for the last mm. well 20 years. Right. That uh, that I built myself from about five or six Stratocarters. I took the, the best neck and etc. etc. And this one, the Fender made for me with the same uh, the same section on the neck. So it's slightly bead uh, and it's it's a nice neck because it's not varnished. It's it's sort of oiled. Satin finish. Yeah, it's got a nice great neck. It's got, and it wear, and it wears nicely. Well, it, does, you know, it hasn't got a very long, long life, but it means that you know you when you play it for a while, it starts to almost guide your hand to where it wants to go. And uh, it's got the only thing that really makes it different from an old one is that it's got it's it's active. It's got a a live circuit in there which gives you on one knob on this knob um, a sort of distortion or compression. Right. So that you can make it sound more like uh, a Gibson, Les Paul would say. Yeah. Other than that, it's really just the same as the guitars have been made for 30, 40 years. Right. Show us the back. It's a bit worn out, though. I think you'd have to get a new one. Yeah. Quick spray job on there. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a hole in it there. He's, uh, Eric's, I don't know what that means. Uh, hey, get, that get the one with the ice tray on it. The bit this, uh, you know, with the little thing. Yeah, see, look, I'd like to show you this. Is, this is for all the people who are involved. You see, this bit, this bit here is burned because this naughty boy smokes cigarettes. And he puts his cigarettes in there. And Fender have made him one with a little hole here so you can put his cigarette in there. I have one where it has a cupboard in the back with my sandwiches <laughs> tea. エリックさんは確かロスマンズというタバコを吸ってましたね。オーバーイズ、いや、いや、ストロングスティンです。シーガーシ。ワンサポートサウスアフリカ。いや、いや。パーティーイズ、シーガーシ。ワンサポートサウ